Another headline in Colorado's fight against COVID, the state health department says by mid-February, 80% of Coloradans will have immunity to the Omicron variant. CBS4's Alan Janae with the story tonight. And Alan, really seems in recent weeks, everyone has known at least a few people who've tested positive for COVID. <laughs> Very true. COVID Check Colorado told me that at their sites across the state at the beginning of this month, they were doing about 12,000 tests a day. But this week, the number of tests down to about five to 6,000 a day. Now, the weather has been somewhat a factor in that, but experts are optimistic about this downward trend. In nearly two years into this pandemic in Colorado, there hasn't been a lot of optimism. At a COVID check Colorado testing site at Jeffco Fairgrounds, they come to find out. Some days it feels like it's never going to end. Omicron has brought COVID to so many more. I know a lot of people who haven't had COVID this whole like two years and now they have it. 75% of Coloradans are now likely immune to Omicron and not likely to spread it. A member of CU's COVID modeling team that looks ahead explains. I am looking towards a huge sense of relief in that I think we still need to get through the next few weeks. Um, but I am cautiously optimistic that the spring is going to look a lot different than this the last few months. Dr. Elizabeth Carlton says it doesn't yet mean an end. And I think we're about to see a lull. The question remains for how long and, and how do we make sure we're ready when, when the next um, variant emerges or if Omicron comes back in the fall. Because a lot of questions are still to be answered. Is the zillion dollar question whether immunity from Omicron buys you immunity to other variants? That's exactly right. Is there reason to continue with masks? Well, this is a great question. I think long term, I am really hopeful that we can we can um, slowly phase out mask mandates. In the near term, in the next couple of weeks, I think it's really important to realize we are still in this acute phase. With a lot of people still testing positive, but hoping. We don't know what this could be. Hey, best case scenario, it goes away, but we don't know if that's going to happen. Now, it's not clear how many people may have gained immunity through vaccination and how many through prior infection. Remember that term herd immunity? We used to hear a lot in the early days of the pandemic. Experts believe that we needed about 70 to 90 percent of the population vaccinated or with prior cases to reach herd immunity. Well, 80 is right in the middle. But remember, Colorado isn't the only place where this pandemic has hit. It's around the world. In Denver, I'm Alan Janae, covering Colorado First.